Weasel News. Officer down, officer down, officer down. Suspects off road in here, suspects off road. Ooh, he's got some airtime, suspect 1050. Get on the fucking ground right now. You get on the ground. Down the ground, down the ground, down the ground. Drop the knife. Get down the ground. Show me your hands. How you guys doing today? This is Master Rice 9886 coming at you for another episode of LSPDFR here. Today, as you can tell, we're going to be patrolling with the Palito Bay Sheriff's Office here in the 2015 Ford Police Interceptor Utility ELS enabled. I did try to sit there and put the uh, lot, same exact texture that I did on the uh, Sandy Shore Sheriff's Department, but that didn't work, so I'm going to use this one here today. Um, as I said, it's EN ELS enabled, and it does have a decent amount of lights. Um, the front can be a little bit brighter, in my opinion, for the light bar, but other than that, it is a very nice uh, vehicle to use. All the mods I do use are in the Google Docs drive. Um, in the description down below, just click on that. You can go over to any of the mods I use, download, install them, and try them out for yourself. If you do want to know how to install them, leave me a comment. I'll be, uh, I read all the comments, so I see a couple of those. I'll sit there and make a video. But all throughout YouTube, you can find them. There's actually um, a YouTuber that I actually followed installing mine, and it actually worked fine for me. So, so we're going to be getting on today's patrol dispatch. We're going to be 1041, 10 8, available for calls. All right, so we actually have uh, two cars here. They're parked on the opposite side of the road. That's actually illegal in Polito Bay. So we're just going to use our lights here, turn around. We're not going to. We'll just use our two secondary lights. We don't need to light them up too much. Um, it does look like they're moving. Dispatch calling unit one, Lincoln 18. We have a traffic alert for an attack on a motor vehicle. Dispatch, I can't get that call out. I'm actually already on a somewhat traffic stop here. Copy, dispatch. But it looks like they are possibly moving. There are people outside, or actually, it looks like they have a tent in the back and might be having a party going on. Um, dispatch, can I get a plate check on a Mesa? Plate number is going to be 62 Union Frank Boyd 813. Suspect's license plate 62 Union Frank Boyd 813. A warrant issued. Diego Minardo. Machinardo, okay. Um, so since that vehicle, if there's a warrant out for that owner, we will get a tow truck for that vehicle. And we're just going to check this one here as well. Dispatch, I get a plate check on a 61 King Ida Paul 155. Target vehicle license plate, 61 King Ida Paul 155, a warrant issued. Proceed with caution. Alright, so these both are warrant issued, so we're going to... Tell them dispatch guy get a tow truck to my location here. And actually copy that. Can I get two truck tow trucks to my location? And just because we have we don't have enough probable cause to go and talk to them about it, so we are not going to worry about trying to find it. So we are going to continue with our patrol because we do not technically have a warrant. We do, all we have is you know two illegally parked vehicles with a warrant, but we are not given enough probable cause to go over to that house and talk to them. So dispatch going to be code 4, 10 8, available for calls. Attention unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have a traffic alert for an assault with a deadly weapon. Dispatch will be taking the Polito Bay shoplifting call. We'll be responding code 2 here. And luckily we didn't sustain too many injuries for injuries. In, ah, injuries. Injuries, man, I can't speak today. Oh, we do have a shoplifting call out going over at the Polito Discount store, so we're going to be arriving here. Hey, officers, scumbags in the back. Okay, so. Dear God! Alright, security, how are you doing today, officer? We just had an attempt to shop with the instrument. Luckily, our manage, we managed to catch the them in the act. Uh, happens to go off nowadays. Uh, total value is 255. 
Um, Elijah, you asshole, why the blank did you store? I need to get down to get my free stuff. Shop looking is not a crime. Retailers, all criminals here. Have you seen the recent prices? Officers, no wonder why the shop is so common. Alright, so by the sounds of it, she was shoplifting, so we are going to be placing you under arrest, man. Uh, we're going to be arresting you right now. You have the right to remain, if it will let me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, do. Suspects fleeing on foot out of the discount store. Heading west on Polito Boulevard. Taser deployed. Down on the ground, down on the ground, down on the ground, down on the ground. Show me your hands, get down on the ground, do not move. Going in for cuffs. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the courts. Here, do you have anything on you that can poke me, stick me, hurt me in any ways? And we found a phone and a smartphone. Alright, you'll follow me back to my vehicle. So we're actually going to have her on two charges. Not only would it be attempt to stop li uh, shoplifting, which it would be since it's less than a thousand, it's petty theft. But you also have felony evasion because she was resisting an officer. So we're going to head back to the car. We'll write up the arrest report real quick here. Alright, you'll get in the car. This is how we'll just write up the arrest report real quick. Officer Hoff stuff. Uh, pedestrian. It was, I believe it was um, Molly Jenkins. probably spelling the name wrong. If not, we don't have to. We'll just fill it out the old-fashioned way, but... Um, Molly Jones, that's what it was. I knew it was something with a J. Here, we'll come down here. Molly Jones. Alright. And I guess I used an old version of uh, computer plus plus because I can't access the arrest reports. I'll have to make a note of that as soon as I finish this call. I'll have to make sure I update it. Alright. Dispatching, I get a Assistance prisoner transport to my location at the discount store on uh, North Palito Boulevard. I'm just wait for her PT to get here and take her out. I'll have to make sure I remember to update the computer plus plus because I always remember to do it and it wasn't there. So I'm just gonna write it down right now while we're waiting for PT because it should be there. They are. Um, computer plus, and they're rolling up in the sheriff's Tahoe. I actually thought about using that one. But the only thing I didn't like about that one is that the light bar on top just doesn't light up. And I never liked that about it. So I'm going to try to find something. Because I do like the one that lights up like a Christmas tree. Alright, dispatch. You're going to be code 4 on the call out. 10 8, available for calls. Calling unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have an officer in need of assistance in Mount Chiliad. Dispatches is 1, Lincoln 18. We'll accept that call out. Copy that. Moving right now. Roger that. Alright, so we have an officer requesting assistance, so we're just going to cut lanes here real quick. And we're going to uh, show up code 2, okay? I know a lot of times people like to show up code 3, but we're going to do code 2. 
that we're, we're not taking up too much time and it looks like they are on the northbound US Route 1 so we're just going to turn around right around here with a little opening we'll make sure we're right behind the officer here and look at that the Sheriff Tahoe as I was saying before I'm going to angle it just this way just so we can have an easier access to pull out. Uh, good day. Uh, the vehicle pull up has no insurance. Uh, you're going to be getting a ticket from me. Can you please stand around in case they kick off? I'm not going to have my I'm going to have an alp. I'm going to stay back a little bit more just in case they do take off but yeah it looks like they are gonna take the tickets so we aren't gonna have a problem here. Nice simple easy. No insurance. With no insurance I would have seized the vehicle. That would have just been me. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. Dispatch are code four, US Route 1108, available for calls. Alright, so we're gonna be doing some speed enforcement here in Polito Bay, actually right in front of the Cluck and Bell chicken farm. I actually think I had this, I was trying to do this before, and I got called for a call out. I know it got called for a call out, but we're going to be doing it anyways. Just check and make sure we catch any any speeders at all. You know, do a little revenue for the county here. Uh, the speed limit is 25. I do have it set to 35, so anything definitely above it, will, they will get a ticket. And we actually have two vehicles coming up here at a fast speed rate of speed. Even Actually, I might... Depending on what it is, not close enough to get it. 48.50. Okay, we're going to be going with the land stocker there just because they're going at a heavy speed prior to me pulling out and then very slowing down for the truck there as we saw. So we're going to just try to make our way right into here, right in front of the vehicle. We'll have a mark, we've got a green light, put on our lights. The one thing I wish would ever happen is you know, better. Ooh, wrong one. So as I said, I want to be trying to do the mimic, but it's always difficult to do. That's good enough. Dispatch area plate check on land stalker. Plate number is going to be 23, Victor Ida Bravo 302. Target vehicle license plate. Two, three, Victor, Ida, boy, three, zero, two, no, ten, ninety-nine. Alright, so they have nothing going on here, so we're going to talk to them. We should probably put the gun away, because we're not doing a good five stop. Dispatch, we have suspect fleeing uh, westbound U.S. Route Lake 1 in a land stalker, gray in color, occupied one times. I don't know why they took off. Um, speeds excess 80 miles per hour. I get an additional unit. Suspect's off-roading here. Suspect's off-roading. Ooh, he's getting some air time. Suspect 1050. Suspect 1050 into a tree. We're going to attempt to stop him over here. Suspect's heading um, on an unknown street at this time. Suspect 1050 on a rock. Suspect is caught on a rock. Going in for the takedown. Get out of the vehicle, get out of the vehicle, get out of the vehicle, get out of the vehicle. Get on the fucking ground right now. You get on the ground. Going in for the cuff. Alright, for an Amber Brack, she was the registered owner so I don't know why she ran because she would have just got a speeding ticket because there was nothing wrong with her alright do you have anything on you that is going to stab me stick me poke me or hurt me at all Stupid. and she had used needles a wire cutter and a phone so it looks like that is a possible um, that she was doing some kind of drugs so we are going to we're gonna put her in the vehicle we're gonna move my vehicle out of the way Get in the vehicle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my vehicle backwards. 
And I'm going to go over here, we'll search her vehicle, and then we'll call in a tow truck to get this taken care of. Because I know that was the one complaint that people were asking me to constantly do more searches. So I'm going to search the inside of the vehicle and make sure there's nothing in there that's going to be illegal at all here. And we found a shotgun, pocket knife, camera, and an air freshener. Alright, so we are going to be doing uh, dispatch. Can I get a tow truck to my location here for a land stalker? It's going to be South uh, Procorpio Promenade. And dispatch, I'm going to be have one in custody heading back to the station. We're going to be returning to the station code 3. We're not, uh, my apologies, code 2. We're actually going to, because we're the police, we actually are going to take... Um, there's a small little back road here. It's a, you know, more of a walking trail for the park rangers and stuff. So we're just going to take it as a slight shortcut. I'm going a little fast, I can probably say. But it's going to put us out right on, right on the road here. That'll uh, be right adjacent to the police station. It's a lot quicker than riding up and then backtracking. And I believe we drop them off either here or in the back I can never remember Stupid. and it's right here and we're gonna have someone take her in for us I right, thank you very much um, all the information will be filled out so I'll fill them out when we go on break um, most patrol agencies is that there you know that you have you know X amount of time that you do on your shift and then you sit there and you or for patrolling and then you have paperwork you pretty much fill out um, pretty standard. Alright, dispatcher to be code 4, 10, 8, available for call. And this car right here practically um, rolled the stop sign there, but they're also making an illegal left-hand turn there. Ooh, dispatch had a 1050 by accident. This batch will be a plate checker on a stratum. Plate number is going to be 44 John Bravo King 1421. Plate 44 John Boy King 141. No 1099. Okay, we're just going to just slide him over this way a little bit. Beautiful. I might say that was probably one of my best move overs. You run an angle our vehicle in just the same way as theirs, just so we can come over, because we'll come over to the passenger side here. Um, how you guys doing? I'm Officer Master Rice with the San Andreas Pla Sheriff's Department. The reason I stopped here today was because you blew the stop sign back. There was more of a California roll, and you also did an illegal left-hand turn. So may I please have your license, registration, proof of insurance, please? All right, Alicia Martin, please remain inside the vehicle. I'll be right back. This battery vehicle is going to be occupied two times. Uh, I'm going to be doing the uh, search right here. Um, on Alicia Martin. And she is coming back with a valid license, no warrants. And the vehicle here. Coming back, same. It's going to come back with a uh, license and registration, both valid. And she was only stopped one time. Um, so I'm actually going to take it easy on her. I don't want to... Again, you know, she was stopped one time. So it didn't say whether she got a ticket or not. So I'm going to assume it may have been a warning. Alright, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be issuing you a... Not a ticket. A... Oh, I'm going to take, uh, give you a ticket. I can't make it... Um, what I'm going to do is... Let's see where it will fall within. Um, so I know she was recklessly driving. I don't want to give her reckless or careless driving. Um, Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a failure to yield. Okay, so I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to mark it off as failure to yield. I'm going to drop the fine down to $100. And I'm not going to give you any points. Um, it is possible that I might not show up to the court date, so you, I'm going to do a court summons, so that way you have to show up. It is possible I may not show up, so you may not get a ticket. Or this might get wiped three. Um, any questions, comments, or concerns, you can just you know call the number on the top. Call, talk to Margie. Um, all you gotta do is sign on the dotted line, 
and it's not a mission of guilt, just saying you will take care of the ticket and you'll show up on the court date. Uh, if not, have a good day, drive safe, and be careful. This is going to be code 4 on that 1011 on US Route 1, uh, 10 8, available for calls. Attention, Unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have a person carrying a knife in Palato Bay. Dispatch is 1 Lincoln 18. We'll accept that call out. We'll be responding code 1. We have a stabbing. All units respond code 99. Alright, dispatch. Uh, we have a stabbing. Here's going to respond code 3. Um, I think it's going to be this guy running right here. Yep. There he is. We've got a 148 in Palato Bay. Drop a knife, drop a knife, drop a knife. Drop a knife, drop a knife, drop a knife. Suspect failing to comply. He's running down. Down on the ground, get on the ground, get on the ground. Drop the knife. Get down on the ground. Show me your hands. Spread those legs. Going in for the cuff. Alright, Marco Silvio. Dispatch, we get 1040 uh, or 1027, 1029 on a Marco Silvio. License is valid, no active warrant, so you're going to be going to jail. Um, dispatching, I get EMS to my location. Attention all units, we've oh. got an ambulance call in uh, Palato Bay. Right, you have anything on you that's going to stab me, stick me, poke me, or hurt me at all? Nothing of interest. Alright, we're going to put him in my car. Better hope this guy survives. If not, that's going to be murder on your hands as well. Um, possible premeditated. Come on, let's go. There it is. Get in the car. See what happens. Hopefully, he can save her. What the hell? Damn. Let's do what we can do. We're close nearby roads. Make sure everything stays safe. Give me a chance. They perform CPR here. Alright, luckily they were able to save her, so it's just going to be attempted murder. Alright, dispatch, I'm going to be traveling with one custody back to the station. Oh, we are going to be code for on the stabbing. And we'll return back to the station, code 2. Drop off Marco Silvio. And we are going to. We're actually going to take him in ourselves just because this is going to be the. Possibly the last one here. Alright, I don't know why it's doing that. It's a little glitchy here. Alright, get in the cell. What in the world? Right. Talk man, so we're done here, so we're gonna head back outside. Alright, dispatch, we're gonna be code 4. This is 1 Lincoln 18, we're gonna be 1042 107. And that's gonna be it for today's patrol. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, let me know absolutely anything you want to know. And I'll see you on our next episode.